This morning, the investigation continues into what caused an apartment building to partially collapse in the Bronx. Miraculously, the FDNY says nobody was killed. Pick 7's Kieran Dillon live for us on the scene in Morris Heights with much more. This story is just incredible with just a few minor injuries here, Kieran. Hi, good morning, Dan and Kella. Just incredible is right. You know, just terrifying as well here in the Morris Heights section of the Bronx. As you said there, FDNY says that incredibly, miraculously, no one was seriously injured. No one died as a result of this partial collapse, though we know more than 100 people have been displayed. Take a look behind me here. The building in question is here at this corner. You can see the collapse in question, the large opening there on the front. There's also debris and rubble on the street right in front of the building. And, as, and you can even see furniture like a bed hanging from one of the floors. The terrifying partial collapse was caught on video. Pedestrians can be seen running for their lives as six stories came crashing down. Maybe like an earthquake type of noise. It was very loud. The catastrophic collapse in 1915 Billingsley Terrace took place around 3.30 in the afternoon. Many of the people who live in the 50-unit building were still at work or school. Belongings like beds and clothes still visible, even in the destruction. Once they start cracking, everybody start going out. These deli workers somehow made it out of the first floor in time. They were able to um, evacuate on time. Before. Because they heard the cracking noises? Yes. First responders got to the scene in 90 seconds. And for hours, firefighters searched through debris and rubble, using drones, dogs, and even robots to search for any victims. We'll be here until it's we're down to the street level, just to make sure if there are any victims under there, Hopefully we could get to them in time. Miraculously, it appears only two people suffered minor injuries. The Department of Buildings says the apartment was built in 1927 and is seven stories tall. There were several open violations around unsafe facade conditions, though none of them structural. Work was currently being done on the building. That report did find unsafe facade conditions, seven of them. Uh, mortar that was deteriorating, cracked bricks. So at this hour, you guys, exactly what will happen when it comes to the remaining part of the building is unknown. The Department of Buildings will continue to look into what caused this collapse. For now, again, we know that uh, there have been several people that have been displaced from their homes as a result of this partial collapse, around 140 to be exact, dozens of households. And right now, the Red Cross is helping those people find uh, shelter as well as food. We're going to have more on that story coming up with Julie Malay. That is the latest from the Morris High section of the Bronx. Kieran Dillon, PIX11 News. All right, Kieran. And as Kieran mentioned, there were problems with the facade as work was being done. But the building's commissioner says an unsafe facade does not mean the building is un structurally unsound. Although repairs had started, officials do not believe any workers were present at the time of the collapse. The building's owners did submit drawings of the collapsed area for the facade work. The Department of Buildings will examine those drawings as part of their investigation.